Hello, and welcome back to Calero Academy. Today, we'll be doing a very neat trigonometric question from the diagnostic test for the online school Art of Problem Solving. The question states, find all theta such that sine theta plus cos theta all squared is equal to 3 on 2, where theta is bounded below by 0 and above by 2 pi radians. So, it might be, seem very easy to do this question. All we have to do is just expand the left-hand side, do some simple algebra, and then we have the answer. However, there's actually four answers to this question, and to understand it, we have to first go back to our unit circle. The unit circle, our little guy over here, he says, that sine of some angle alpha is going to equal to sine of 180 minus alpha, which will equal to minus sine outside of 180 plus alpha. I wrote a capital alpha there, sorry. So, the, that's what the unit circle dictates. We get that by slowly going around a unit circle, evaluating, evaluating, and evaluating. So let's proceed. Let's evaluate the left-hand side of this thing over here, and we get that sine squared theta plus 2 sine theta times cos theta plus cos squared theta is equal to 3 on 2. Now stop for a second. It seems obvious that we should make the substitution that 1 is equal to sine squared theta plus cos squared theta. However, if we were to do that, we'd have to remember that we're going to lose two values. The values where theta is negative, because we're having sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to 1, a positive number. We're going to miss some negative values for theta. So we remember to come back. For that, we're going to use the identity over here, this one. Now, going on, we have that 1 plus 2 sine theta times cos theta is equal to 3 on 2, and that therefore 2 sine theta times cos theta is going to equal to 1 half. So, making the substitution that 2 sine theta times cos theta is equal to sine 2 theta, we have that moving forward, sine 2 theta is equal to 1 half. Now, before we go on too quickly and say, and we evaluate over here, we have to remember to use this ident identity. Remembering our e equilateral triangle, 60 degrees here, 60 here, 60 here, and one on each side, we split it in half. We have one half is this length of this side over here, and that 30 is the degrees over here, and that 90 is over here. Sine of 30 is equal to 1 half over 1. So we have sine of 2 theta is equal to sine of 30 degrees, which is equal to 1 half. Now, Therefore, 30 degrees, I'm sorry, 30 degrees is equal to 2 theta, which will equal, to, therefore theta will equal to 15 degrees. However, re remembering this equality over here, we also have that 30 degrees is going to equal to 180 minus 2 theta, remember over here, and therefore theta is equal to 75 degrees too. Now, we have two answers here now, but remember I told you we had to use this identity over here. Return to the question, and we see, going up, going forward, that sine theta plus cos theta, when entirely squared, is equal to minus sine theta minus cos theta, all squared, which will equal to minus 1 outside of sine theta, 
plus cos theta, all squared. Therefore, it's obvious that sine alpha that we have a sine alpha for some angle alpha equaling minus sine of 180 plus alpha. Because this is just the negative that of that one. It's, we're going to have to find the angle here. We're going to have to add 180 to both values of theta we already got. So, we have that, therefore, theta is equal to 180 degrees plus 15 degrees and also equal to 75 degrees plus 180 degrees and also equal to, of course, 15 degrees and 75 degrees. So we have that theta is equal to 195 degrees, 255 degrees, 15 degrees, and 75 degrees. So we have the answer that theta is equal to four different four different degree values: 195, 255, 15, and 75. Now, clar clarifying once more, the reason we made that substitution over here of this thing over here is that we have to remember not to miss out some values in our unit circle, which will work over here. The values 255 by 195 are going to be in the in the bottom values in the bottom quadrants. So, thank you for watching, and this has been a Colorado Academy production. Hope you come back for more. Goodbye.